Hello, my name is Karen Savile and I work on the Manchester Area Partnership Rights Control Project team. Um, yes, uh, I do strongly believe that there should be a strong uh, a 12 month extension um, for the right to control for a number of reasons. Um, the time frame that we've had to try and implement rights control as part of the personalisation agenda hasn't been very long. When you consider the the depth and breadth of change that's required in terms of culture, which if we're thinking about this honestly, it's, a, it's probably the first time that there has been um, a whole systemic change required that is done positively and proactively and not in response to a tragedy or a disaster then I think there's been an awful lot of expectations within that short time frame. We've done some uh, good work, we've made some mistakes and I think the 12 month extension will give us time to actually embed what we've tried to do to support the local authorities with the culture change that's required and that's not just about changing thinking, practice, attitude, it's about changing the systems as well. Because systems are still actually directing the way people think and practice and we need to change that completely round. So it's whole organisational change that's required. There is change required from disabled people in the way that they think and what their expectations are. There is change required from disabled people's organisations and user-led organisations. This period will give us time to actually work more closely with those groups and those people who have such a vital, crucial role to play in ensuring that personalisation becomes the norm, becomes everyday business and doesn't become different and separate. And it would help. I think in ensuring that communities become more active in developing local support systems that are peer-led by local people who have local knowledge and are aware of the local issues. So yes it should be extended for 12 months, um, that would give us time to build and consolidate on what we've done and address the massive changes in culture that are required at all levels both in organisations, in local communities and in society as a whole. Thank you.